Hello everyone and welcome to a new Plant Zoo video where we're discussing the update features and teased DLC animals that were sort of revealed in this morning's stream. So, well, I mean, it's this morning for me, but it could have been the afternoon for you guys. But anyway, so we've got the new sort of souvenir display shops. So they're modular like the restaurants and guests are able to go inside and have a look at all the different goodies that you might have in there. So there's plushies, there's puzzles, posters, and all sorts of other um, things that you might expect to find in a gift shop at a zoo. So this is a this is a cool feature that's coming into Plant Zoo, but that isn't the most exciting thing um, that was revealed in the stream, but it is exciting nonetheless. So there were a few animals teased uh, in this stream with different features sort of hinted at and teased. So let's go through the first one. So the first animal um, was shown in sort of a taiga habitat. So, well, alpine. And Tim on the stream, he described it as big, burly, and heavy, as well as having brown and golden fur and feeding from tree bark, roots, and grasses. So this can only be one thing in my mind, and that's the Tarkin. So Tarkin are a large goat antelope from Asia. They come in four different subspecies, Sichuan, Golden, Mishmi, and Bhutan Tarkin. Since it's golden brown, I would think Sichuan Tarkin, as it is the one that has the golden head, but also a largely brown body. But it could also turn out to be a golden Tarkin as well. I guess I'll have to wait until tomorrow. And let's move on to our second species. So the second species is described as being solitary, a scavenger, ferocious, carnivorous, scaling cliffs with large claws, long coarse hair, and a bushy tail. And after hearing that plethora of features, I can only come down to one conclusion, and that being the wolverine, the largest land-dwelling mustelid in the world. So they're found on multiple continents. They're found in North America, Europe, and Asia. Or if you just want to group them together, Eurasia. So this has remained one of the highest requested animals since the Tassie Devils release a few months ago. And I think it's about time we get this mighty muster lid into the game. Now the next one might surprise a lot of people. So Tim showed up in a grassland biome. So I guess that rules out highlands, unfortunately. But it does open up possibilities for an Asia pack as this animal has the most unique of facets, as um, Tim elegantly put it. They live in groups or herds. They require tracking via aerial technology, so I can imagine maybe a helicopter, a bulging nose, pointy horns, spindly legs, great speed, shine skittish, and is a grazer. And the bulging nose was just the dead giveaway of the Saiga antelope. One of the weirdest and most, most ancient of, of undulates in the world, dating back to the Pleistocene era. They're critically endangered, and yeah, I'm actually really excited to see this guy. He's more unique than most other um, antelope that you'd see, as they ha also have this really beautiful winter coat. Um, but we could get either the summer or the winter. It depends. But Saiga is certainly looking as to be this animal. Our last teased animal is the temperate animal that was teased. It's being said to have carried its young on its back, adept at self-defense, equipped with sharp claws, claws used as a culinary utensil, foraging for termites and black shaggy fur. And that last thing, black shaggy fur, I can only think of one animal, that being Baloo himself, the sloth bear. Now these animals are, I think, Either the second or third smallest bear, they are from the Indian subcontinent and have to contend with tigers and leopards as well as dolls. So being adept at defense is certainly a good thing for a largely insectivorous bear. So they're, they're, they're quite aggressive too. If you, if you startle one, um, yeah, the sloth bear be coming for you. So they are very well adapted to um, foraging for termites as... They have vacuum suction that they create when they purse their lips around a termite hole 
and suck out all the little termites inside. And they are known for carrying their young on their back. I saw a lot of people saying Tamandua, but when, when they said black shaggy fur, I was just like, yeah, it's a sloth bear. <laughs> now, I've seen a few people not too happy with these additions, mostly because they're either not birds, not fish, or just not what they want. And honestly, all I can say is, well, what you want will come in time, as this is not the pack that will end Planet Zoo, I can assure you. Frontier is quite clever, and they would they would go out with a bang with this, um, one of their longest running games. So I, th I think you can retain a bit of hope. Thank you. So I'm happy with these animals. Sloth Bear is one of my all-time favorite bears, all-time favorite Indian animals. I love them. Wolverines are absolutely epic, as they are also found up into the Arctic tundra and will even chase polar bears away from a kill. Uh, Tarkin is an animal I've wanted for a while. They're a quintessential highland species of Asia. And Saiga antelope, it's just weird. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lovely weird animal that I would love to see in the game. And it seems that we are actually getting it. Whether it'll have a winter coat or a summer coat, that's up to a doll situation. Toss a coin. Which one will we get? Um, yeah, so those are the four animals that were teased. So this is looking to be a largely Asia pack, or a completely Asia pack, as it's looking. So I'm thinking Greater Asia, Eurasia, or just Asia animal pack. But as this would be an animal pack, there are a few more animals that could be added. So we'll find out the whole roster tomorrow, but I am going to speculate on a few animals that are highly likely, in my personal opinion. One being the Markor. Markor is an iconic wild goat from the, from the Himalayas, and with its distinct look, I think it would be a very good addition. It would also be quite easy to make, utilizing the Ibex rig rather than anything else. And yeah, it, it really stands out against the Ibex with its unique spiraling horns. So I, I'm pretty confident in saying that the Markor is going to come into the game, because it's also highly requested, easy to make, perfect candidate for an animal pack. Another easy to make animal that's also highly requested is the Palace's cat, often dubbed the grumpiest cat in the world, um, is found higher than most other felines, even above snow leopards, which is quite surprising given their size. But these animals would utilize the sand cat rig likely, as they fall into that small cat range. And yeah, they're, they're one of the most requested animals from the Asian continent, so I could easily see them come into this pack. Uh, another two animals, if you're not a fan of the palace's cat, maybe a few birds. I know a lot of people really want birds, and Asia has at least two that I really would love to see. The golden pheasant of China, and the Himalayan monal of, well, the Himalayas. Both animals are extremely colourful, and both would make stunning additions to this animal pack. I mean, don't know what rig they'd use. Maybe Frontier could create a unique ground fowl rig um, for golden pheasant and Hi Himalayan monal. Guess we'll have to wait and see. One of the last animals I have on my list is the golden snub-nosed monkey. One of Asia's most iconic and distinct primates with their bright blue faces and golden orange fur. If we were to get any primate from Asia, I would 100% go over the golden snub-nosed monkey. It, since it's highlands, we can't ask for a baboon because there are no baboons in Asia except for Hamadryas baboons living in Saudi Arabia and around the Red Sea. But I think they're going for more of the quintessent from, from the Asia that most people will think of. So they're probably going to go Golden Stum Nose Monkey for this, although they could surprise us and pick Hammer Dry Baboon anyway. So it's all up for possibility. I mean, if we weren't to get a Stum Nose Monkey, I could easily see them adding a Raccoon Dog potentially. That would be a unique one as they can climb as well. So that would be certainly an interesting animal to see. Of course, the last slot that we have to think of are the exhibit animals. So there are three major exhibit animals that I can think of, like the King Cobra. Um, yeah, really want the King Cobra. If it's not in this pack, there are two other options. 
the Chinese giant salamander, the largest amphibian in the world, and the Japanese giant salamander, the second largest amphibian in the world, both of which make stunning candidates to an exhibit as they are quite peculiar and also critically endangered. King Cobra, of course, being the largest venomous snake would be awesome, but giant salamanders would also be awesome as well. So that is, um, yeah, that's everything that we know so far. I'll be back tomorrow to talk about the new pack and what animals are in it and whatever else is coming in update 1.16. But if you're excited for this pack, yeah, leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you're not happy with this pack, also leave your thoughts down below as it's, it's good to voice your honest opinion <laughs> because not everyone's going to like the pack as I've already seen um with people saying these animals are not really what they wanted but hey there's it there's got to be an animal for everyone <laughs> so we'll see what we get and um yeah see you in the next video guys bye bye